Hi guys, welcome back to Neverwinter. Today we're here to uh, take on the Avernus Ape. It's in the Avernus region near the Balan House stronghold. You can see to the south of the map there. It's got a little icon that shows that he's active in this area. And you'll see in the chat that everybody's asking for invite to ape, please, please invite to ape. Um, people like me posting where the ape is, which instance the ape is currently available in because you can change instance in these maps and find uh, the ape in different areas. Uh, so he spawns occasionally and people can go in and uh, in a group and take him down. And of course you get um, the heroic encounter rewards for taking down this boss. So uh, I announced this instance where the ape was and then uh, I'll just invite a bunch of people who are asking to be invited. Um, and then we all turn up here and then wait for enough party members. Nope, we're going in. Okay. So his official name is the Soul Infused Bulgara. Of course, that's too difficult to say in a group chat, so everybody just says ape. Invite to the ape, please, please, please. So you can see he starts off with a couple of his little buddies, the Bulgara buddies. Uh, they're a bit smaller, easier to take down, but um, the big boss is the main target, of course. Ouch. So he does a couple of uh, pretty massive attacks. He can swipe at a target like that. He took down probably two-thirds of my health. I'm only probably item level 20,000, so not, not as high as probably most other players in this region. Uh, but he will do quite a bit of damage. The other attack he'll do is uh, like a big large radius um, ground stomp or ground punch. And you'll see when he does that basically everybody gets pushed over, takes lots of damage. People just generally tend to heal their way through it. Now at some point he'll spawn his Balgara buddies to come back out again and help him. Oh. Yeah, you can see uh, that ground stomp can be pretty devastating. A lot of players go down, but you find these parties are pretty good. Everybody will uh, resurrect you when you go down. Um, Kind of like a support group like that. <laughs> and uh, yep, there's another ground punch. So you can see everybody went down that time. But this fight's actually pretty pretty quick. It doesn't take a lot of time and um, find the, the rewards are pretty good. In this uh, level 80 region, um, it's probably the best way to get currency for... Um, Well, not the best armor, but some of the better armor you can get in this area. Short of doing the uh, Infernal Citadel um, raid, which is much harder to do. But you know, if you're soloing, um, doing the ape is a great way to get Juma rewards from this guy over here on the north side of the keep. Talk to Juma the Curious inside the little cage. Um, and you see chaotic writings is what you need for him, so we get 50 chaotic writings for each ape and 10 seals of the fallen which I'll show you in a minute. So grab uh, grab 100 chaotic writings and talk to this guy. So for 100 chaotic writings you can get a Juma surprise bag which will uh, usually reward you, if you're lucky, some really high level armor and gear. So you can see there we've got Australia's planar bindings, 1225 item level, so it's some of the best uh, best gear you can get in the game at the moment. Barring the raid, of course. Now if you speak to the merchant up here, the uh, Seals of the Fallen, which is what we got from the ape as well, uh, you can get other rewards. Fallen armor here, which is very good as well. You can see for 300 you can get um, some really nice shirts and shirts and trousers, um, 
definitely the best shirts and trousers in the game at the moment. Um, the other gear is probably not quite as good as the Juma bags, so probably for armor items you want to get go for the Juma bag. But uh, the armor from here is actually quite nice as well, 1200 item level. Now the Lion's Guard set, which you get from the um, Infernal Citadel raid, is higher, but um, harder to get, of course. Thanks for watching.